start digging into this listing. I'm going to click on the land portion, and you're going to see a bunch of data load onto the map here. Now, what that's loading is actually what the land use is on this property, and it's giving me a breakdown right away that there is 1.8 acres of woodland. There's some evergreen forest here. There's mixed forest. There's a little bit of woody wetlands there, and it's giving me that breakdown. I can go back and actually look at, well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to look at this other land data. It's going to give me some uh, information about annual wind speeds, temperatures, slopes on the property. I'm going to jump back and I'm going to, again, in my value indexes, I'm going to click on the solar energy portion. And let's say maybe I'm looking at this piece of property as, okay, this is great. I might be able to put a, a cabin on here, but is there any additional value here that maybe somebody doesn't know about? And that's what we're talking about here with the solar energy. This is giving me a very, very high scoring a 96 on the potential solar energy. Now, if I zoom out on this, you saw a bunch of data load onto the map again. Now, this is a different data set, and it's all attributed to this specific parcel. So it's telling me how many acres I'm losing to dwellings, how much is in a tree canopy. And for all of these other, what would be called exclusion zones, which would exclude certain acreage for this revenue potential, if I clicked on, if any of these types of exclusions were on the property, I'd see how many acres would be there as well. So I'm starting to get some information here. And now I'm going to go ahead and keep digging in. I'm going to click on my solar electrical infrastructure on this tab. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and it's going to, again, show me some information. So I'm seeing transmission lines. I'm seeing a substation, substation transmission line. And it's feeding me back for that specific listing, all of the information specific to that, to that listing for the substations, transmission lines, and solar farms. Now, why is that important? Why do you care about that? Is because when we clicked on that parcel and it loaded all of these different indexes, for each one of these indexes, we have an algorithm, an AI algorithm that actually runs as if a engineer or a geologist or electrical engineer or an environmental scientist was running a full analysis on every single one of these different types of resources for this exact listing. So the data that's here that's providing that 96, it's taking into account what is the price of the power going through those transmission lines, what is the interconnection, all of the things that I don't want to and really understand and don't really care about. I just want to know what is the relative value here. We've broken that down for all of these different resources. So let's just go through here and go through a couple more. Um, for instance, go ahead and take a look at the, the mineral value here. And we can go ahead and say for oil and gas value, where are the nearby oil and gas wells? It's going to return those nearby oil and gas wells about six miles away from the nearest producing well, 3.8 miles away from the nearest abandoned well. It's going to feed back some, if there was production nearby, it's actually going to tell you what the production of those wells are on that property. So again, I'm digging through very quickly. I found a piece of property. It's available for purchase. And I'm starting to dig in on the value proposition on these different types of, pro uh, on this specific listing. I can click on property features here, and it's going to go ahead and start giving me some more information. It's going to show me um, uh, different, it, different data layers there when it comes to slope topography. It's going to tell me, um, this is a really, really cool data set. It's going to tell me the tree species on the property, how many trees per acre, what's the diameter, average age, things like that. And then it's also going to break down for me the soil types on the listing. So there within a few minutes, I've done a very robust due diligence on this listing that's out there. And I know a very good, I have a very strong understanding of what's actually being provided outside of the typical pictures, things like that. So I understand more about this property than most likely the listing agent, the seller, all of those different things. Again, I have my buying hat on right now. 